So the power has gone out three times since we moved into our house and we only moved in just a few months ago. And every time it happens, I worry about, is the food in the fridge gonna go bad? Am I gonna be able to cook dinner tonight? So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I used a budget-friendly portable generator to keep the lights on, to keep the fridge cold, and to cook dinner even while the grid was down. If your power goes out all the time, the best solution is to go solar on batteries. But not everyone has the time or the budget to get that installed. So like for us, we just moved in, so we don't have solar and batteries yet. So what I'm doing here is I'm testing a more affordable option. A few years ago, we knew the power was gonna be out for a few days. So I picked up this thousand dollar portable generator from the local hardware store. And at the time I had to plug in electrical cords everywhere. But in my new house, I set up a generator inlet port so I could just power my whole house from this generator. So if your power rarely goes out, this setup's probably overkill. And you might be better off just buying a portable battery system like a Jackery or an EcoFlow. But if outages are common, like they are for us, the best long-term solution is to go solar and batteries. But for now, this generator we had was a reliable backup. It could back up our house for hours or even days, and it's great for an emergency. I do plan to go solar and batteries eventually, but I haven't had the time or the budget to deal with it yet. So for now, this is what I got, and honestly, it worked out great. And for anyone worried about being sustainable, having a backup generator that uses a few gallons of gasoline a year is really not that big of a deal. Buying solar and batteries and having them sit in your garage unused for a backup situation, that's not really uh, ecological either. So that's why I think for really short-term emergencies, generators are a great resource and solar and batteries are great to be used on a daily basis. Okay, well, let me show you how it all went down yesterday. Well. The power's out. We have a neighbor here with a generator running in here and then one up there. I think there's one other house over here. So the automatic generators kicked on at the other houses. And at our house, I'm the automatic generator starter. <laughs> I have to drag it all the way over to the other side. Anyways, when the power goes out, those generators that connect to people's houses, they um, have to go on for like a half an hour once a week. So they actually use quite a bit of fuel. So here, we can see one right here. So there's a Generac, uh, that's like a whole home backup that's wired into the house. So what I'm gonna do is set up our generator, which is a portable generator that plugs into our house and we just plug it in when we need it. All right, so let's test out our generator. I did start this up a few weeks ago and it did work. I was surprised. I hadn't turned it on for probably three years and it started right up. Um, all right, well, I gotta go roll it to the other side of the house um, where the generator port is. I don't have a convenient place to store the generator there. So I have it in the garage, but I think it's time to go test it out. So I'm gonna roll this over, plug it in to our port, uh, make sure we're not back feeding the grid and see if we can get everything turned back on. Let's go check it out. So our boy's sleeping right there. He's gonna have to wake up. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Okay, so I talked about this before. I have to turn the grid connection off and the generator on. So this means that the grid and the generator cannot be on at the same time. So right now, grid's off, generator's on. Our house is ready for some power. Let's start it up and see what happens. This is on. This is plugged in. Let's go look inside the house and see what we got. Let's go inside. We have light. The fridge is on. That's good. That's kind of the most important part is making sure that we don't waste our food. Um, I can make an espresso now. The lights are flickering. The voltage is a little off, but at least we have some power. But let me show you another thing that I have here. So when the power went out, I actually was in a meeting and the internet router is right here. It's connected up to this UPS. It's basically just a small battery backup but it just is backing up our internet router. It can last probably two hours. Uh, couldn't run a fridge for very long, maybe only 20 minutes or so, but I had one of these left over from work, 
plugged it into the internet router. So if the internet goes on and off a bunch, uh, it'll at least keep the internet on. And that's exactly what happened. The, uh, uh, the power went on and off a few times um, while I was in the middle of a meeting. Uh, but the internet stayed on um, even though my screen and my keyboard stopped working. I was able to continue the meeting while on my laptop. So these are pretty handy to have. Uh, you could buy them on Amazon. They're called the UPS. I'll put a link in my video so you can uh, maybe put one on your internet router. For work from home people, you might want one of these because if the power goes out during your meeting, you're still good to go. All right, well, lights are on. The fridge is working. Um, I kind of want to, oh, uh, I want to see if the air conditioner is going to run or if, the, if it's going to blow the generator. Should we test it? Let's see what happens. Okay, so in our bedroom, we have a se separate heat pump here. It's a fairly small unit. Um, I think the generator should be able to handle this. You ready for this? Okay, let's see what happens. Turn this on. It's cooled down to 70. So far, so good. Okay. You can see the light flickering. <laughs> the generator is doing its best to keep up with this new load. This is a larger, larger load, but it's working right now. Right now we're running air conditioning with the generator. So that's a good sign. So everything on the panel looks fine. Nothing looks tripped at the moment. Okay, our hot water heater is running off the generator. This is a new electric heat pump and everything looks to be going good. We have hot water. So we got that running off the 30 amp generator. So that's good. Okay, so let's test the induction stove. Um, I haven't tried it yet with the generator running. I'm hoping this is gonna work out okay. I have it on full power boost. I think we could boil some water. Wonder if we could also run the microwave. What do you think? Could we do it? Should we try it? The appliances sound a bit different. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. But right now we have the microwave running or we have a pot boiling right now. So this is on. You know, oh, by the way, this is how much toddlers eat apples. Two bites. Two bites. <laughs> um, okay, so we the generator is powering the microwave, the stove, the heat pump upstairs, our lights, our fridge, our internet. Everything's running. This is great. Um, the only thing I haven't tested is our whole home air conditioning. That's a lot to ask for out of this generator. So if I can have everything but that, I'm pretty happy. All right, my son just asked actually a really great question. He said, hey, if it rains, what do we do? Do you need to cover it? And actually this generator, I think would work just fine uh, in the rain. Uh, the electronic parts are covered. I wouldn't want it to be out in the rain for a long time, but it's generally going to be fine. Okay, our air conditioner is running. That's kind of incredible. So our generator can run everything in our house. Maybe not everything all at the same time, but it can run all the appliances that are there. Look at that. So the air conditioner is running and the generator is feeling it. I can feel the cold air. Uh, so I don't know how much gas I have in the tank, um, but I probably have half a gallon or something, eight gallons. To be honest, I don't know how long that'll last. Last time when we ran the generator, it ran, I think like about eight hours before we had to refuel. Um, I don't know how much is in there right now. I'd expect not more than an hour or two that we can run. So it's pretty loud, you can hear it, but it's not so bad. I just got a text from utility. They said that they're gonna get it back on between four and 8 p.m. It's 4 p.m. right now. I can hear the other generators running, so I think the power's still out. So I got my generator running. Don't really need it on right now, but I'm glad that I could at least test my generator and see that it's working. I need to kind of use up the fuel anyways. It's probably four years old, but this is more for an emergency. If power goes out in the winter time and I need to power the furnace that uses gas, obviously, but also is um, needs electricity to to run. So I'm rather impressed. I've been able to run everything in my house. I have the air conditioner running. I had the induction stove running. I had the microwave running at the same time as the induction stove. Um, I had the heat pump in our upstairs bedroom run running. 
I didn't run everything at the same time, but each each individual appliance was running um, off this this generator. Uh, this is only on a 30 amp port, so that means that the inrush current on the air conditioner uh, wasn't so bad. It, it wasn't so bad that it shut the generator down. This exact generator on my old house could not run the air conditioner unit there. It was an older unit and it probably had a very large inrush current that kind of swamped the generator. But this one's holding it fine. All the lights are on, the internet's on, the fridge is keeping the food cold, uh, and we're able to run appliances individually. So this is actually a pretty good backup for a thousand bucks in an emergency, going to your local hardware store to pick up a generator, get gas at the gas station. If you have an inlet port connected up to your panel, uh, you could do this. So I'm pretty impressed that this all worked out. Uh, every house is different. Our appliances are somewhat new. Everything run, check to see if your house can do the same. Very happy spending a few extra hundred dollars for this inlet port on our house. I do want to be solar and battery only uh, in an emergency. This is a great option to have. Having a generator around, uh, gasoline is somewhat abundant. Getting gas at the gas station, having this generator ready, really helped in that emergency situation. Legos. Now that is boiling water. Powered by our generator outside.